Get behind me! So much for the Navy SEALs saving the day. Shit, bro! That's fucking Pedro! Clyde did this! He killed Pedro, and he killed Eisenhower. He killed Pedro, and he killed Eisenhower. So you finally figured out that Clyde is an asshole. And he is now your arch enemy. So you're chasing him down, trying to get some revenge. And you pick up a riot shield here. And I think this is the only place in the game where your riot shield is probably going to get destroyed before you kill all the bad guys in the room. Uh, all, all the other times in the game when you pick up a riot shield or like a car door or something like that, you kill... <laughs> you're our only hope. Help you, Obi-Wan Kenobi. Uh, anyway, um, all, all, all the other points in the game when you pick up a riot shield, you kill all the guys and are forced to drop the riot shield or the car door or whatever um, before you move on. But in this area, there's a shitload of guys, and uh, the riot shield actually doesn't absorb as much damage as you'd imagine. Um, they are quite fragile and made of porcelain. So, uh, you can see that little health bar, like right in the middle of the screen, right in the middle of the riot shield. And when that thing's almost dead, you might as well drop it and find some cover because you don't want to get stuck out in the middle uh, with a bunch of guys firing at you <laughs> if that thing's about to break. And when it does break, you just need to kind of make your way around the outsides of the room, shooting everybody that you see, obviously. Oh shit, he's almost dead. And now I'm the worthless piece of shit here. I haven't killed anybody and he's taking all the damage. Tice, I'm down. Need a hand. There we go. A little buttercup to wake you up. I don't even know what to say at this point. I don't know what the fuck I was thinking when I was recording this video. Because I'm not doing a goddamn useful thing. There we go. I finally got some kills. Jeez, that P90 is so inaccurate. Sit down, motherfucker. There we go. So after the area is clear, um, you have to find a way to open up that big door. Uh, the teabagging is not necessary. And you have to do a step jump up to the, uh, the controls over on the right. And I run around in circles for a minute trying to figure out what the hell I'm supposed to do. Oh, shit. More guys were behind us. Where the hell do they come from? Good work, Salem. Oh, damn. Man, I thought the area was clear. There we go.
Now the area the looks clear. Over here. Now you can do the step jump and uh, destroy the controls and the door will open. And uh, the next video will show taking care of the next area where there is a heavy armor guy and a shitload of other soldiers. And the, the next video is actually pretty tough. A pretty tough section of the level.